Did you know your candy is made with anal wax? Yep, candy corn and junior mints, jelly beans, lots of sweet treats use anal wax to make their candy coating look shiny. If you see confectioner's glaze in the ingredients list, then you're eating a waxy resin that is anally secreted by lac bugs in the forests of India and Thailand. It's also known as shellac. The female lac bug sucks the sap off the trees and then secretes a waxy substance out of her anal pores. Mmm, doesn't it look good? Yummy! To harvest the substance, Farmers break the branches off the trees and then scrape off all the dried lac. They scrape off lots of dead lac bugs with it. Then the lac is crushed, which releases a red dye that gets used in the textile industry. You might be wearing lac bugs right now. The remaining dried lac goes through a sieve and is washed multiple times to remove the impurities. But they don't all come out, so there's still bark and dead lac bugs in the mix. Then the raw shellac is heated over a fire in long canvas tubes, kind of like socks. The heat causes the shellac to liquefy and drip out of the canvas. The liquid shellac is then rolled into a sheet and broken into little flakes or cute little buttons. So pretty. You don't see the bugs or have any idea about the animal exploitation that went into it. It takes 300,000 bugs to produce one kilogram of shellac. Shellac isn't just used in candy though. It's also used as a varnish for wood and metal. How neat, you're basically eating furniture polish. But if it's used by a candy maker, then it's confectioner's glaze. What a great treat to give out to unsuspecting kids this Halloween. When they ask you trick or treat, you can tell them it's both. <laughs> Candies with confectioner's glaze taste sweet and they're full of anus juice, chemicals, and hidden exploitation. Gotcha. Bonus if your candy also has carmine. Black bugs are in the same superfamily as cochineal, bugs who are used to make a red food dye called carmine. Cochineal live on prickly pear cacti. When they're harvested, producers wipe them off the cacti, kill them, dry them, and then crush up their dead dry bodies to make a powder that we eat. It might show up in the ingredients as carmine, cochineal, crimson lake, natural red four, E120, or other names. So you might not know that there are bugs in your candy, but that's all part of the trick. You probably also didn't know that cows were sexually assaulted for that milk chocolate in your Hershey's bar, or that the gelatin in your Starburst came from boiling animal bones, skin, and hooves. There are lots of candies without animal products, like Skittles, Twizzlers, Dots, Jolly Ranchers, blah, 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 blah. But Halloween is supposed to be scary, and there's nothing scarier than our collective consumer ignorance. <laughs> I love it when greedy corporations trick us into eating dead animals and supporting their systemic abuse, especially when they target the youth. Well, happy Halloween! Let me know what cool, cruel products you want me to review next.